This segment presented by Bravo Company Manufacturing. Okay, we're back out here on Fort Bragg, Range 44. I'm with the 18 Bravo Committee. I got Sergeant First Class Bill. He's one of the heavy weapons guys, and he's gonna take us through this little jewel. All right, so here, Larry, we have a Mark 47 ALGL. This is a soft specific grenade launcher. Only the Green Berets, Rangers, SEALs, MARSOC use this system. Uh, think of it like the Mark 19, but an upgraded version. It's about a half the weight of the Mark 19. Um, one of the other great benefits of it is the fact that it comes with this integrated lightweight video site. And with this video site, it also has a ballistic computer in it. So what happens is with this system, you're gonna go ahead, laser target out there, the computer is going to give you a range to your target and it's going to give you a ballistic solution for you to fire this gun on. Now, is the laser range finder integrated or is that something that's separate and you have to put that in? Well, the laser range finder is integrated into this site. Um, it comes with a three power day and night sight. It has the capability of applying a thermal sight, but it has to be an external thermal sight. It has a program where you can fire air burst barrels. So let's say you have somebody out there taking pop shots at you from behind a wall. You're gonna go ahead, laser target, and what'll happen is it'll give you a ballistic solution to where this round will fire above the cover that your enemy's behind, and it'll the round will actually detonate on top of your enemy. And it'll give you essentially a, an aiming point, a holdover point in order to trigger off that shot. Is that how it works? Yes, what happens is you're gonna laser target, you'll get a ballistically compensated reticle in there, and what you're gonna do then is you have to elevate your barrel of your gun, and the way these two work together is basically the gun and the sight speak to each other. So at a certain point, once that barrel is elevated to match the range to that target, the gun will tell you with your ballistic reticle, okay, put it on your target now and shoot. There have been reports of uh, teams in Afghanistan getting first round hits at about 2,000 meters, which isn't bad seeing as the max effective range of this gun is about 22 12. Absolutely. Now, is it capable of semi and full auto? No, unfortunately, it's only full auto with this system. You typically want to fire these about six to nine round bursts, but again, with the accuracy of it, I mean, you're not going to need that many more after first round hits. Right. And then it is slow enough where you could trigger off a one round if you had to? Yes, but that becomes trigger manipulation and right. trigger control. Right. Good deal. I can't wait to fire it up. This was something that was just coming online as I was retiring. Yeah, this came into service about 2005, 2007. Yep. So it's, it's young in the service, but not too young. It's definitely seen combat in Afghanistan, Iraq some of the other hot spots around the world we like to go to. Well, it would be my first time shooting it, so you guys will get to enjoy it with me. I was able to put a couple cans of ammo through the Mark 47 ALGL. My initial impressions, gun's accurate, yet you can get good first round hits. The reality of it is, though, it's very light. Unless you have that tripod sandbagged in place, you'll get much larger dispersion than you might want. If it's vehicle mounted, probably get much better hits. Pretty slick weapon system. The one I was on ran like a champ. Obviously, keeping it lubed is key and learning the optic system and how it's integrated into the gun. Glad I got some time behind it out here at Range 44.